From our sustainably grown pine forests, New Zealand exports hundreds of millions of dollars worth of logs and processed wood products such as timber every year. From where we are in 2013, the forest industry wants to double its exports by 2020. To do this, we have to find ways of converting wood chips like these into fuels and chemicals and materials that advanced manufacturing industries will require in the future. To find out how these byproducts of the future will be made, we need to backtrack a little along the value chain. Cyan built this research-scale industrial fibre and pulp processing plant. It has underpinned the development of New Zealand's pulp and paper industry. With today's science, we have a much better understanding of the chemical structures within wood. With this knowledge, instead of using wood chips like these for pulp, paper and wood products, they can be fed into a biorefinery. The forest biorefinery concept relies on breaking down wood uh, into its constituent chemical parts and then we're researching ways where we can build those parts up into other materials and chemicals that we can actually use uh, to generate new revenue streams for the forestry industry. Our industrial fermentation platform is a key step in our biorefinery research. In it we can make microbially produced enzymes, biopolymers, biofuels and biochemicals. There are a number of things we can do with an apparatus like this. We can modify sugars from wood to create biofuels and biochemicals. We can produce large quantities of enzymes, and these can be used to modify or add value to a range of compounds derived from wood, such as lignin. We can also make bioplastics through fermentation. This radiata pine wood pulp has been processed into a liquid, which will be subjected to microbial and biochemical reactions inside a controlled environment. We can process up to 100 litres of this material at one time. Pulp liquid and enzymes are added to the fermentation vessel. We've left the fermentation vessel running for two days and we're back here to harvest the results. Inside the vat, enzymes have broken down the complex carbohydrates present in wood and symbol sugars and lignin have been released. The sugars are in the liquid and the lignin forms a solid residue at the bottom. We can separate these using a centrifuge. In a further fermentation step here at Scion, we're able to convert these sugars into a bioplastic called polyhydroxyalkanoate. This is a purified preparation of polyhydroxyalkanoate. At the end of its useful life, it degrades in the environment. We're using biotechnological research to generate new materials and chemicals out of wood.